Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is the CEO of Numinous Wellness, Peyton Nyquist. How are you doing today, Peyton? I'm doing well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Very excited to have you on the show. Our community is very excited about Numinous Wellness. Many of us are heavily invested in the company <laughs> and we love what you guys are doing. Numinous Wellness is a mental health and wellness company creating an ecosystem of solutions centered around safe, evidence-based, accessible psychedelic assisted psychotherapy. Can you tell us a bit more about what you do? Yeah, so really the uh, the company split up into two uh, verticals, really our Numinous Bioscience Division, which is our Health Canada licensed lab and production facility um, that has some, some very extensive licensing, which we can get into later, um, but really focusing more on the drug itself and, and all that sort of circulates around that. And then our Numinous Health Division is our, our clinical network. Uh, we have multiple locations across the country in Canada and uh, looking to expand that also south of the border and, and internationally. Uh, and then Numinous R&D is really uh, our division that sort of is the, the jet fuel that feeds both of those divisions where we do all of our protocol development, clinic SOP development, as well as uh, research uh, on these different, uh, different therapies and medications. Great. And what fueled the company's decision to focus on mental illness? Yeah, really uh, personally led, uh, I had suffered with some severe chronic health issues as well as uh, sort of a conjunction with, with mental health uh, things that I was struggling with as well. And um, actually got led to psychedelic assisted psychotherapy to try and save my own life a number of years ago and, and did so. And um, at the time there was really no corporate interest in, in the psychedelic therapy space, uh, but a ton of amazing research being done by a lot of leading academic research institutions, which led me to look into this more and more and, and recognize that there was just a huge gap um, that was needed in terms of infrastructure to be able to actually house all of the this amazing research that was being done and, and build the, the infrastructure needed to be able to support that and provide access for, for people who need it. What differentiates Numinous Wellness from other companies in the space? I see there's an explosion of new companies. What makes you guys unique? Yeah, I think, you know, we encourage a lot of the, obviously the, the growth that's happened in the space is encouraging and, and very much needed. Um, for us, you know, we believe we're in a leadership position, um, whether it's, it's our amount of expertise that we have in the space. Both of our business lines have been operating, you know, we have a clinic network that's been operating now um, for over 10 years. Uh, the lab that we do have has been operating for over 10 years as well. So a huge amount of of experience in the space. Um, the Health Canada licensing that I mentioned is, is really, um, we believe industry leading in terms of the, the amount of enablement that Health Canada has allowed us to be able to, to do in the space. Um, and then really, you know, getting back to that evidence-based um, approach that we've taken. Uh, and that includes, you know, partnerships with leading research institutions like MAPS, for example, who I'm sure a lot of people who are watching this probably know of. Um, just, just huge, huge uh, enablement through that partnership to be able to be an industry leader uh, in that particular uh, realm of MDMA assisted psychotherapy for post-traumatic stress disorder. Now the government of Canada is beginning to change its view on psychedelics, which you touched on. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about that and what that means for the company? Yeah, I think, you know, you really saw a huge shift in Canada um, in the summer of last year with uh, a lot of the Section 56 exemptions that started to be enabled with um, people using psilocybin for end of life anxiety. Um, that ball has really just continued to roll. Um, we've been doing some work with Health Canada around the special access drug program, um, which is a, a program in Canada that enables uh, Canadians to be able to access drugs or therapies before they finish going through the clinical trial process. Psychedelics previously had been exempt from being able to be included in the special access drug program. And uh, our team actually provided a briefing note to Health Canada 
uh, in about uh, November of last year, stating you know the the request to to have psychedelics be able to be applied for the special access drug program, and uh, on the backs of that briefing note, Health Canada actually announced in December of last year their intentions to change the special access drug pro program to include MDMA and psilocybin. So wow. Health Canada has really taken a, a leadership position around changing uh, drug policy rules uh, to to be able to include psychedelic assisted psychotherapy. Now there's also been a first ever psychedelics ETF and mm -hmm. it just launched in the last little while. And Numinous has been included in the lineup. I think it's one of the bigger holdings. Mm -hmm. What does this mean for the company and the psychedelic space? Yeah, I think, you know, it just, continues to validate the psychedelic space. We're very grateful to be able to be involved and, and to be, as you mentioned, one of the heavier weighted companies um, in the ETF. It's, you know, validating for shareholders. Um, you know, we were, we were one of the first public companies in the psychedelic space. And, and I think still the only public company on the TSX um, in the psychedelic space as well. Um, and, you know, the more comfort the shareholders can have, the more, um, exposure that shareholders can have to be able to even, you know, as you mentioned, there's, I see, it feels like a new company a day that's, that's going public in the space. And I think to be able to create discernment for shareholders, you know, which companies are really there to create value versus, you know, companies that might be there because this industry is getting a lot of attention and there is a lot of capital being thrown at the space. Um, I think, you know, obviously learning a little bit from, from some of the lessons in the cannabis space, um, you know, I think I think investors want to make sure that they're they're being very educated in terms of what is actually happening and, and what is moving the needle in the psychedelic space as it is so new still. Um, but also for for people looking for this therapy, I think the thing not to be forgotten about is is these are therapies that are needed now more than ever. Um, mental health continues to be a growing issue uh, in our society today, if not probably one of the leading in issues in society today. And um, I think, you know, the, the more oars that are paddling all in the same direction here, um, especially in the early going are extremely important. I think there's been a huge shift, you know, growing up, you didn't hear about mental, I'm, I'm 43 mm -hmm. growing up, I didn't hear about mental illness. Now it's all I hear about. Yeah. So this is not a want, this is a need. And it's a problem that is a growing problem, like you said. Now, you guys have also um, launched clinics in Vancouver and Montreal. Can you explain what's going on there? Yeah, so our, our Vancouver clinic uh, is a clinic that we acquired a couple of years ago uh, when we were still private. It was a clinic that had been operating for five years and really, you know, sort of an integrative mental health clinic. Um, so doing a lot of, as we just mentioned, mental health uh, focused therapies uh, and treatments for people. Ketamine obviously is something that's been getting a lot of attention lately. Um, so we do plan on on initiating where the clinic is currently under renovations to be able to hold the MDMA and psilocybin work that we intend on doing uh, this summer. Um, and as well, starting to initiate some of the ketamine work for depression uh, and mood disorder. And then in Montreal, uh, we acquired a group called Mindspace, which is really a, a Canada leading organization uh, around mental health and, and mindfulness practices. And ha they have built a really robust training platform as well as a ketamine assisted psychotherapy program as well. And uh, as I mentioned, they come with over 10 years of experience building that brand and uh, have multiple locations in Montreal, as, very, as well as, you know, with what's gone on with COVID, they've built an extremely strong virtual services platform as well. Very good. Very good. Now, you mentioned a little bit about MAPS. So you've also just recently signed a collaboration agreement with MAPS. Can you tell us a little bit more about that deal? Yeah, I think the thing to, to share there more than anything is is that's really, it's not a one pager news release kind of collaboration. That was a collaboration that had taken the better part of a couple of years um, wow. to really develop. Um, the amount of paperwork that's on the back end of that collaboration is, is extremely robust. Um, you know, for us, we see the biggest bottleneck around psychedelic assisted psychotherapy is 
the trained practitioners to be able to actually carry out the treatment for people. Um, you know, it's great to go and open a hundred clinics, but if you don't have the people that can actually do the work, you're just tacking on a lot of burn rate and, uh, and wasting a lot of resources. So maps, you know, really is the reason why psychedelics are where they are today in North America, the amount of work that they've been doing since 1986 with MDMA for post-traumatic stress disorder really paved the way for a lot of other psychedelic research. And um, they've now got MDMA in, in FDA phase three clinical trials and MDMA for post-traumatic stress disorder probably will be the first um, psychedelic to complete the, the clinical, the FDA clinical trial process and be legal um, for people to access that therapy. So our partnership with them is extremely robust all the way through to the training of practitioners. We've recently trained uh, a number of our staff to be uh, trained by MAPS to be able to provide MDMA assisted psychotherapy. Um, they've agreed to share their protocol with us. Um, so we will be initiating a, an open label uh, single arm clinical trial uh, for MDMA for PTSD uh, out of our Vancouver location this summer. Um, so, you know, as I, as I mentioned, very robust and uh, it's actually MAPS, it's the first industry partnership that MAPS has, has ever done. So we're very grateful to be able to, to be in that category. That's great. Is there anything else investors should watch out for for Numinous in the coming months? Any catalysts? Uh, you know, can't, uh, can't tip my hat too much, but we made a lot of representations last year. This year is really about growth for us. We've already built an extremely strong uh, platform and infrastructure. So it's really about execution for us. And, um, you know, we've recently uh, bolstered the balance sheet uh, and filled the till with, with quite a lot of capital as well. Um, so very well resourced, very strong plan in place. And, and uh, so I think over the next couple of months, you're going to see quite a lot of uh, exciting growth uh, in the company. And we're really looking forward to sharing it with everybody. That's great. Peyton, we're going to have this shown to our community, which is in over a hundred countries worldwide. Lots of investors are going to want to contact you. Uh, potential partners. Uh, we've had other psychedelic companies on here that might want to do an LOI or a joint venture. Who knows? Mm -hmm. What's the best way for someone who's interested in contacting the company to reach you guys? Yeah, best thing to do is go on our website, numinous.ca. We've got a few different portals depending on uh, what you're looking to engage with, whether that's partnership, investment. So I, I encourage everybody to go through there. Um, and uh, we have a, a newsletter that we put out monthly that is a great way for people to keep up to date with what we're doing. So really suggest people subscribe to the newsletter. We don't hammer people's inboxes and uh, we make sure that it's relevant and uh, topical for people. So really encourage people so, to uh, subscribe to that as well. Great. Well, thank you for joining us today, Payne. Very excited about watching your company evolve and grow. I think you guys are doing great work. Like I said, this is not a want. In my opinion, this is a need. This is a direction that the whole world is going. And mm -hmm. Numinous Wellness happens to be one of the leaders. So you guys are doing great work. Now, anyone that's watching, remember Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always consult a financial advisor before you invest in any companies that we discuss or talk about here on Rich TV Live. Chances are when you go and you speak to your financial advisor and they've done their due diligence on Numinous Wellness, they're going to say, wow, where'd you get that pick? And you can say from Rich TV Live and they're going to say, it's a really good pick. And I agree. I think the company has enormous upside, like you said, well capitalized and still very responsible with your share structure. If you guys like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. So anytime we have any breaking news, you get access to it first. Thank you for joining us today. The CEO of Numinous Wellness, Peyton Nyquist. Thank you for joining us today, Peyton. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate the support. Always a pleasure. Thank you guys for watching and have yourselves a nice day.